Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of WebMonkey and today I am going to show you how to work with FileZilla and also how to create your own FTP account. Now, in case you didn't know what FTP was, FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol and it, it is the method by which uh, we could transfer files from our desktop computers to our web servers and vice versa. So say for example we had a video or an image that we wanted to upload to our web server, we could do so using FTP. And one of the best tools out there for FTP in is a tool called FileZilla. It's a free uh, FTP tool and what I'm going to do in this video is to show you how to install FileZilla but also how to create your own FTP account so that you can transfer files from your desktop to your uh, file to your web server. All right, so I'm on the FileZilla website here as you can see it's filezilla-project.org and here we have two options either to download FileZilla client or download FileZilla server. You want to go with the FileZilla client Okay, click files the client and this will bring you down to the page where you can download the exact format that you're looking for. So we've got for Windows 64, uh, Windows 32, Mac, Linux and so on and so forth. So simply pick uh, the right uh, install installation file for your own computer. So I'm just going to go with the 64-bit uh, setup.exe. And uh, alright, so it's downloading, downloading. And uh, all right, it's the, the download's about to start, as you can see. And okay, so it's downloaded right there at the bottom. Ooh, six missing women. What's this? Oh yeah, investigation discovery. This is actually a pretty uh, awesome channel that I watch. Um, oh, anyway, uh, <laughs> FileZilla has uh, finished downloading, so I'm just gonna click on the .exe file. Uh, let me bring this down here. Click yes. And uh, bring this over here. All right, so it's basically the same method with which you would uh, install any .exe file. Simply click uh, I agree. And here you can choose either you want everyone who uses your computer to use FileZilla or just you. I'm just going to stick with uh, anyone. Uh, click next. Click next here as well. Uh, let me just go back. Uh, create a desktop icon actually. I would like a desktop icon. Click next, next, next. And install. All right, so... <laughs> Alright, so we've finished installing files a lot pretty straightforward. So I'm just gonna click finish and uh, It's going to open FileZilla in just a moment All right FileZilla, where are you? Okay, it's down here and uh, Okay, so let me just bring it over here to my recording screen now. This is the FileZilla uh, window. This is basically where you would have your uh, documents on your computer on the left side and then you'd also have access to your web server on the right side. But over here we have the host, username and password but we also have a port number that we need to specify before we can connect to our web server. So in order to work with files though we need to create an FTP account. So what I'm going to do is just to drag that to my other window, close this out and now over here, I'm going to show you how to create an FTP account uh, on your web hosts platform. Now, I use SiteGround as my web hosts. I'm in my cPanel home. So all I have to do at this point is just to come down here to, uh, where is it, F files and then FTP accounts. Click FTP accounts and then over here, I can simply choose uh, a login. In this case, I'm going to go with uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. At Taskopedia, I'm gonna add my password. Uh, let's make that strong password. And then over here, you can choose to specify the directory. Uh, if you want access to the root directory of your web server, then you don't need to specify anything. Just remove uh, whatever is generated and just leave it at public. Uh, underscore HTML this should be fine and then all you have to do at this point is to click create FTP account uh, the account has been created and now over here you have your username and uh, over here I can click configure FTP client if I wanted to <laughs> alright so now what I have to do is to simply come back to my uh, file Zilla window and what I'm gonna do is to simply add my host address which will be my website which is www.tascopedia.com 
and then I'm going to add the username, which was uh, 1234. 1234 at testcopedia.com. I'm going to add my password. Now, in case of the port, you don't have to specify any port number because files will automatically take care of that for you. Uh, but the, the default is 21. If you want to go with SFTP, which is a secure form of uh, file transfer, you can go with port 22. Um, it even says it right there. If you hover over the empty box, it says uh, enter the port. Uh, Enter the port on which the server listens. The default FTP is 21. Default SFTP is 22. So I'm just going to leave that blank. Click Quick Connect and then click OK here to remember passwords. Click OK again and voila. I now have access to my the root directory of my web server. So from here, I can simply choose my websites. As you can see, I have quite a few of them. I can go to uh, the videobuff.com and then simply uh, come down to my content, my themes, uh, choose a theme, and then simply just transfer any of my files from my computer here. I can specify uh, the desktop over here, and then just simply right click and then upload to my uh, web directory. I could also do the same thing in the opposite direction. I could come over here and then simply right click on any of these files and then click download. And that's basically how to work with FileZilla and how to create your FTP account. Now, creating your FTP, FTP account could vary from each uh, web host uh, out there. So, the best thing you can do in case you're still confused about creating your own uh, FTP account is to contact your web host, ask them for guidance on how you can create your FTP account, and um, they will be able to guide you on that. So, I want to thank you very much for watching the video. If you like the video, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button. If you enjoyed the video as well, please hit subscribe. Thank you for so, so much for watching the video, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.